welcome back to another video on the wonderful world of math. Today we're going to look at fraction, oops, my pen is not working, fraction, decimal, and percent models, right? So yesterday you looked at fraction, decimals, and percents, but today we're going to look at pictures of fraction, decimals, and percents and come up with the equivalencies. So let's dive in. If I look at this first picture, I have some yellow shaded areas and then obviously some unshaded areas. But my first step is to figure out the whole. How many total do I have, right? And then it's easy to write the fraction. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are shaded. So if I was calculating the fraction, decimal, and percent of the shaded picture, 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 woo, struggling. It's kind of late around here. Then I could write six eighths, right? That is the fraction. But like all fractions, we have to simplify that. Those are both even numbers, which means they are divisible by two, right? Six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. Well, this is one of those you got to just kind of know it fractions. You could do the long division to make that a decimal. You could do three divided by four. For sure, for sure, for sure, you could do that. But with fourths, we tend to memorize them, right? So think about quarters, right? If you have th like four quarters is a dollar. But if you have three quarters, you have 75 cents. So that is the decimal. And then obviously if we wanted to make that a percent, I take that and go one, two, to the right, to the right, and I have 75%. So this model would be three fourths would be the fraction, 75 hundredths would be the decimal, 75% would be the percent, right? So that one's not too bad starting out. Well, let's look at this next picture. Let's make it a little bigger, right? So here I have one hole. So I'm just going to write that one. And then if I look at the second circle, there's one red triangle or triangular kind of figure out of one, two, three, four, five. So the fraction is one and one fifth. Well, if I want to convert that fraction to a decimal, I'm just going to bring down the one. I don't have to factor that into my long division. And I'm going to do, again, top goes on the inside, bottom goes on the outside. If I have one, could I give you five? No. So how many groups of five are in ten? Two. Two times five is ten. And look, I'm done. I have no leftovers. So that one-fifth is equivalent to two tenths or that 1.2, right? So one and one fifth equals one and two tenths. If I wanted to make that a percent, remember I move one, two spaces and I need to put in that zero placeholder, right? I have 120%. Remember you can have percents over 100, right? Like if this was pizza, I have one whole pizza here and then I have a little bit of the second pizza left over. So I have 100% of a pizza and then 20% of the second pizza. Right? Moving right along. You're doing amazing. Now I have one of those famous hundreds grids. I'm working on these a lot with my second grader. So the fraction is going to be out of 100, right? Because it's 100 tiny little squares in this big square. And I have 10, 20, 30. And then 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. They tried to trick me and not put it all in a line. But lucky for me, I can count. All right, let's divide these both by 2. You always want to simplify your fraction. So now I have 21 over 50 would be the simplified version of that. But I don't, I don't want to divide. 21 divided by 50. That that seems like super hard work, right? I'd have to do 21. Oh, oops. Oh my goodness, guys. Yeah. Divided by 50. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do a double divided by a double. I don't want to. So let's go back to just the hundreds grid, right? 
If I have 42 out of 100, I have 42 hundredths, so I could just write that 0 and 42 hundredths, right? I don't have to do this long division over here. No, thank you, right? So if, you're, if your denominator is 100, then the numerator is the decimal, right? I have 42 out of 100. I have 42 hundredths. So we need to know how to kind of like work the system so that we're not working too hard over here doing like a double double. No, thank you. All right, if we want to go to a percent, we just go one, two. 42 hundredths is 42 percent. So yes, we had to simplify the fraction to find an equivalent you know, fraction that was smaller, but we could use the original fraction to come up with that decimal and then the percent, right? So work smarter, not harder. All right, let's do one more on this number line. So I have zero here, my integer, and then I have one over here, and then two hops, and then one again. So we want to figure out on the number line how many hops from zero to one. So I'm going to go one, two, three hops. That means my denominator is going to be three, right? And then I took one hop, so this is one third. Two hops would be two thirds, and then obviously three hops is three thirds, which is equivalent to one. So that circle right there, or really that like square, I guess it's a square, not really a dot, that square is equivalent to one third. So if there were five spaces, it would be a fifth. If there were six spaces, it would be a sixth, right? So it depends on the number line. You gotta be careful. Well, if I want to make that a decimal, this one eventually you'll just memorize also. So let's see, we're going to do one, top number goes on the inside, 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 divided by three, bottom number's on the outside. Well, if I have one, could I give you three? No, I could not. I only have one. So now I look to my neighbor, how many groups of three go into ten? Well, let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve. Nope, that's too many, so one, two, three groups. Three times three is nine, 10 minus nine is one, and I bring down that zero. And look, I have 10 again, which is three groups. Three times three is nine. I hope you see a pattern at this point. I bring down that zero, I have 10 again, and one third is what we call a repeating decimal. So it's 0.33 three repeating and that goes on forever and ever so we put that little line up well if I want to make that a percent remember I only move one two spaces so it's 33.3 percent right so one third is 0.33333333 repeating which is 33.3 percent and then I put that little line to show that I'm repeating all right, guys, that's how you use models to find equivalent fractions, decimals, and percents. Let me know if you have any questions. Love ya. Bye.